Tone I guess it's me, Train Man, and welcome back to Train Fever, and it seems we have reached an impasse. Already, our excellent system is not so excellent. Did we get rid of a crossover? Is that why this is happening? Hold on. Let me go ahead and make a new one. And, oh wait, no, wait. These, these guys could go around this way if they wanted to. They really could. I'm not sure how hard it's going to get in everyone's way, but... I'll just throw in the crossover and just be done with it. Like so. Let's do that. Is there a signal over here? Yeah, there is. That's better. Alright, now get out of here. You're, you're in the way of the toasters. And you're gonna you're gonna cause confusion and delay and also massive loss of profit. Here comes another one. Turn you around. Oh you can't actually go that way, never mind. Turn you back around. Damn guys getting all bunched up. Of course. Of course. And this guy's gonna be right behind him. Damn it, there are no trains heading back this way. I don't know how long those guys have been stuck there. Hopefully they'll sort themselves out sooner or later. Although there is nobody at all down here, so maybe I should just grab one of the trains and put them down here. Yeah, let's do it to... Do it to you. Um, oh wait, I can't just pick up and drop trains. That's not this game. Alright, now what? What the hell's in your way now? You can definitely- oh. The new crossover does not have electrification. No, it does. Why you no go? Oh, because he's going first, apparently. Also, I think I need one of these. I'll let him go through. So we have three freight trains over here now? That's great. That's wonderful. That's exactly what we need. You're gonna stop for a minute. Why do you not have a free path? Are you trying to go the old way? Is that it? I know, that works, I guess. Whoa, 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 you're waiting for free path, don't just go. Dude, stop. Apparently, apparently stopping and starting a train, it, it, you know, allows them to go past a signal. That's not right. I'm not sure if that's a bug or a feature, but that's not right. Now everyone's gonna eventually come shuffling back to here. Meanwhile, everyone else over there is completely tied up. That's not good. It's not good at all. And we're still losing lots and lots and lots of money. Okay. 19.5 million, and we haven't even bought anything. So this is really bad. Um, hold on. What's really doing us in? Well, other than the brand new line that's not making any money. What are you, and where are you? East Ham East. Oh, you're this guy. Yeah? 
you're not making money, that's disappointing because you're the only train that runs this route and you run it fairly frequently. Do you ever carry any cargo? You've got a five minute timer on you. You should do great. Like, seriously. That's just messed up. Something wrong with the money ratios in this game. Although this guy is not receiving a lot of the goods from there, I'd wager. Um, I bet you if those were full trains, this guy would do a heck of a lot better. Meanwhile, this guy is not actually getting full goods. And I think a reason for that may be the fact that we maxed this place out. Or at least almost have. We did have that place maxed out, now we don't. Now we have these guys all shuffling back. This track is freaking empty. We need more trains in that direction. We need more trains down there. It's basically the way it boils down. Okay, we're gonna stop you for a minute. Was it the horn on this guy? The long, annoying horn. That guy's moving over to this track. You're stopped at that signal, I guess. Spread these guys out a little bit more. Hmm, these guys do have to cross over that way. If only I could make a if only I could make the bypass around this side, that'd be better. That'd be significantly better. Let's see now. He's gonna stop well, he's not gonna stop there. So wait till this guy pulls up here, and then I'll let these guys go. Let's see where the next guy behind is. These two are pretty much matched. They're very close together. And then there's one more who's pulling in now. To there. So that's not right. It's not right at all. And there's nobody coming this way. Those two are almost completely together. I should have stopped this guy across the intersection. Although that would keep this guy still very close to that guy. Uh, let's let you keep going now. The amount of people traveling between these cities is pretty ridiculous. Like, we could make so much money. We stand to gain a lot from this. The amount of traveling between these cities is less, and, you know, frankly, we've got the Curse of Line 77 going on. Still. This is making negative three million, so that contributes. Contributes? Yeah, it contributes. This guy is making negative 307k, which is really a shame, because I thought they'd do fine. Uh, yeah, we're losing money fast. Um, yeah, there it goes again. 10, 20 million a year, which is not good at all. We're going to have to start conrailing things pretty much immediately. Uh, and that means most of our freight lines almost all of our freight lines. None of them make any money anyways. So... Line 7 is alright. This guy is not making any money. What do these, what do these guys do? Do these guys carry anything? So they carry some stuff. Where do they run? Line 77 still not making money. Well, what I think we gotta do here is we need to cut down on the uh, the trains. We need to find whichever ones are really close to other ones. Like, this guy's probably <laughs> making money. This guy's probably making money just fine. He's close to making money. Not quite. Although, he's got a full load. Is he gonna unload completely at this next stop? We'll find out in a second. Turn on visible only for a minute so we can... Where's the next stop? Scarborough, yeah? Yeah, here we are. It always seems like there are plenty of passengers waiting. 
is it that, you know, even, it, it'd be bad if even with a max load we don't get, uh, you know, enough money to stay afloat. That'd be really disappointing. And the cost upgrade is really prohibitive, so... Again, all I want to do is make it a 2,000, and unfortunately we're not going to do that with one line at a time strategy active. And frankly, we may need to go back to the drawing board completely. It's 1984, you know, the railroads should be reinventing themselves, although this is a very, very dark time for the railroad. Um, made some money. Yeah, these guys have a lot of trains. And uh, we transferred these guys onto the line sort of on a whim. This guy's not making a huge amount. These two are older. The other ones are are younger, although they still don't do much. Okay, let's turn on visible only. It's gonna be me deliberating as to which services to trash. Um, these guys are making plenty of money now. These guys, these guys, they're doing alright in the skunks. This is just abysmal. Like, what is wrong with this system? 15 passengers. 17 passengers. And then 31 passengers. Are, they're all clumped together, aren't they? I'd wager that. These guys may be the same. 27. And now 26. 35. 12 and 54. They've got five minutes. Um, this, these guys are five minutes and they're making money. These guys, this guy is six minutes and he's not. Uh, I doubt he's running with a full train though. I guess people just don't travel around there too much. These guys are losing money? Who would have thunk? Because they transport a lot of crap. Although they are brand new, so I don't know if... So they're making money now, or this guy is at least. Th frankly, I think this guy is going to be the first one to get cut, because he's old. He's really old, and he's never done anything. That line has always been pretty much unserviceable. The Mikados, they're getting dated. Uh, like, they're really getting dated. It's 1984. This guy's making money, this guy's not, which I'm kind of surprised at, because he seemed to be doing fairly well, oh no. Oh, never mind. Oh, goodness, for goodness sakes, I thought he was going to be completely stuck for a moment. I bet you this guy isn't making any money. 104. This guy has 54 oil. He does pretty good for himself, frankly, with the amount of cargo he's transporting, but it's not making any money. These guys obviously aren't making any money. These guys have probably never made any money. Oh wait, no, they're making money. Oh yeah, because it actually gives you money for the intermediate stuff. Why is this disconnected? Nothing in it. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, these older goods trains are kind of ready to be taken down. I don't know, though. Which one are you? Oh, you're him. Okay. Maybe a better engine on that would help. I'm not entirely sure. Frankly, though, you know, these systems I don't necessarily expect to work too well, especially the freight guys, because there just isn't enough demand from one town to, you know, to afford a train. Trains are really expensive, especially in this game. And we're lagging out, come on. Whoa, screen tearing. Oh, it's because we're mousing over East Ham for the first time today. see where these guys are at now. Have you ever made any money? 
You haven't made profit. You made money. You have five goods. You know what, frankly, I think we could do with two trains on this route instead of four. And that's what I might do. Start cutting back. I don't like cutting back, you know? I'm too sentimental for that one. Um. A lot of these older trams, although these are brand new, they just don't have a good enough route to make the money. I'll keep this at the only freight service that I need. And let's take you. I know. We're gonna sell two of these. We're gonna sell two of these and we'll see how it goes. Or at least we're gonna put them in storage. So you. You go into storage. And. You can go into storage as well. You just made some money, so you go into storage now. You unloaded all of your goods. And so now we'll drop back to two trains on this route. The ones that will go into storage, they'll they'll like accrue minimal running costs. Right, what's going on in East Ham? This place is... You know, there aren't even any massive, massive buildings here. It's just like suburban sprawl. Um... So at least we'll only lose half as much. These guys, what? Where are these guys? Oh, these are the inner city trams. These are the old inner city trams. I think you guys can definitely. You guys definitely deserve an upgrade, but we can't afford it. Of course, Metro doesn't matter so much now to fuel our, uh, vehicle or anything. And I doubt too many passengers are taking the tram here to get on the train, so that's not assisting us. So, I have little remorse about doing this. Bye-bye. What about you two? What do you do? You guys could probably be upgraded to be profitable, because you are freight trucks. And it's not hard to make you profitable. I'll bet you they aren't profitable because they're slow as balls. Yeah, production 103 it should be just fine for these guys. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade these. Let's see our, our... Let's do visible only for these two. So for the goods, let's see how much... You're producing 27. That's not a lot, really. It's really not a lot. You know, I'll wager it's because the distance here is pretty great for... Uh, a truck to tackle it, although it's probably far too insignificant for a train. Especially if I want to make money off of it. So, I could replace these guys with tractor trailers, I guess. And so let's... So we got wood on line 68 and goods there. And then also some Studebakers. Where are you guys? You're the brown line. Oh, you're right here. Okay. What do you guys do? Probably the same thing. Well, I can see what they don't do. They don't make money. That's kind of the important part. Alright. Trash these guys. Let's get seven each. Not coal. Uh, do wood. I learned to do that thanks to a nice commenter. Let's just do six. Alright, so these six are going to be assigned to line 68 is the wood line and then did it again. Wood. All 
Alright, six. Um, set line. Line 69. It's a goods line. And these guys should do just fine running on this these roads. They should be much quicker. And in order to get them out of traffic, I'm probably going to upgrade these roads, although we're about to run out of money. We only lost 5 million last year, which is pretty impressive considering. I just spent 3 million on new vehicles, which contributes. But you know, I, I have to say that you know, any service where we're losing money is a service where we're losing money. You know, it's not like it's it's helping us necessarily. Except for the freight lines, which may be helping us in other ways. These, uh, especially these little bus services, they're probably not doing any good. Um, it, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a minute. Why do these guys still <laughs> exist? Especially here. Where am I? No, really, where am I? Oh, I'm here. These guys were kind of supplanted. These guys should have been supplanted by the tram. But I kept them on when we transferred to tram. And now they are... Oof. Wow. These guys stop at Mill Road, though, and that's... Okay, you're not supposed to do that, but okay. These guys stop at Mill Road, and it's... You know, in walking distance to the station here. So I am gonna, I'm gonna cut this line from service. Especially considering those guys are old as hell. And so this guy, I'm gonna keep on. Although I could change him to a truck line. Um, yeah, I could. These guys, these tram lines, I don't know, man. What about this guy? Where are, you, where are you guys? What do you do and why are you losing money because of it? Oh, are you guys the, run, the ones that run just at the bottom of my screen here that we can see? What is the pink line? Oh, that's 77. Yeah, these are these guys. Uh, who would, when, where, how, why are you losing money? Those are some pretty distant signals from what's going on. There's one at this end of the line, oh, and because the other ones got compacted together when the line got all blocked up a while back. Gotcha. Are all three over here? No, okay. Because there's one going that way, one going this way. It's supposed to be four, yeah? I don't know, the ridership just isn't high on this line. Is it... You know, the frequency is fairly high, but is it because they take a while to get to their destinations? They could definitely use an upgrade, but I don't think that's what they're going to get. Although maybe they're still recovering from that massive loss. That shock of loss. This guy, do do I think cutting this? How much that? How much in the way of goods does this guy actually move? Twenty one. So the question is, do I think cutting this will produce a negative impact on the profit from the truck services that feed it? Uh, the first thing to check is how close are they to losing money, or are they losing money at all? Oh no, I don't want to do new line. Get rid of you. Now what I wanted to do. Uh, I want to do visible only. They're doing pretty good with money, it seems. Um, doing pretty good with money. Could be doing better. How much is this receiving? So 59 goods, and these guys are making 70-something, presumably. 132, wow, okay. What I think you should do is I should just swap these guys out with a, uh, a trucking service. So this is right here, it doesn't... Oh, you know what I can do? Okay, hold on. Oh, but I don't want to 
drop the dough to, you know, fix this road. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know about this. I, I want to cut this guy because he's losing us a million, but... I think he's the only bipolar we have, first of all. Maybe, you know, I'm not sure ever. Maybe, you know, definitely right now he's the only bipolar we have. I don't know, I think I'll take the chance on this one. Who's losing money? Who are you and why are you losing money? I'll take the chance on this one, save myself, and kill him. Goodbye. I'd like to make the, the you know, joke and say he only makes money half the time, but he doesn't make money ever, so that's not good. Cutting backs, or cutbacks, they happen. Where are we now? Uh, are we... Okay, Axel Minister, this points to Sutton Coalfield down there. I know where we are. Come on. Come on, game. Work with me. Come on, game, work with me. Again, we haven't visited the section of the map yet. I used to do a thing where I would scroll over the whole map, but... Because loading has actually gotten quicker uh, these days with this game, I haven't needed to. working fairly well, but it's working fairly well, but it's not making us money. Which is the real problem. You know, I'd like to be, oh, support this, support that. Yeah, well, you know, you see the, you see the tough decisions the freight companies have to make, you know, you go, you look at, uh, you know, say, say a place like, uh, place like Colorado, you got Burnham Shops and you got the, the coal industry, and you got BNSF, and man, this line was cool when I built it. BNSF and Union Pacific all working there, mostly all in coal. And then, you know, coal is no longer becoming profitable. And, you know, this is because of regulations of the coal industry brought, brought on by uh, the urge to go green and whatnot. Now, they, they want cleaner energy, so the solution is to make green energy more appealing, they, uh, oh dear me, to make green energy more appealing, they make, uh, not green energy less appealing, you know, because it's all relative. To do that, they, uh, they put heavy, uh, heavy regulation on the coal industry to make things cost more. Uh, so coal becomes less and less profitable, and you know, as, as much as it would be nice to continue providing all these people with jobs, which, you know, is a noble cause, no less, uh, you have to, for the good of the company, pull out of a certain area and, you know, pull out of a certain area and maintain your own profits so that you can keep everyone employed. Holy God, that's a lot of money lost. Um, this year, I didn't even build anything. Like, period, I didn't build anything. What happened? Who's, who got blocked up? Let's say. Let's see. Um, these guys are still making money. Are these guys assisting anyone in making money? Yeah, listen, what actually, you know what I have to say. There is no trucking line making a million dollars. Nothing, uh, nothing that these guys are assisting is, uh, going, is, is going to benefit us. Because these guys are losing an immense amount of money just doing their own thing. Uh, so, you know, I've got to sort of bring the hammer down and take anything that's anything that's losing over a million bucks a year that isn't passenger service and do this. So that just saved us two million dollars a year. Um, let's see what else. 
find four. Where are you? You're brand new, though. I don't really want to give you the boot. You guys are. You guys will. I'll let live for a little bit longer. Uh, the passenger service is more precious to me, even though that that line right there is losing four million a year. Um, the passenger service is pretty precious to me. These guys should get their stuff sorted. They've only got three trains. They've only got three trains. That eh, frequency's at five. The bus services, I'm not as concerned about. Uh, the, they don't lose as much money, first of all, and second of all, they could be supporting the rail industry uh, to a point that's greater than the amount they're losing. Mm. Now, I don't want to do this. Although, we don't have a train that's old enough to, make the, to, to get the achievement, so I'll try to do that next time, but... Or, you know, next, next map, I should say. This was terribly costly. The problem is it costs money to... Oh my goodness, that's a lot of traffic. Oh my god. Is there a freight depot in town? Yeah, there's these guys. So wait, I have goods coming in here from two different directions? What now? And because they're competing, they're not getting max. Okay, well, listen, this guy's about to be shut down then. No no remorse on this one, because I know I've got backup. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm un unable to find Path of Depot. This guy's going to stay alive a little bit longer. He's fighting for it. Is there really no way for you to get to a depot, dude? Because that's, kind of, that's kind of crazy. And it's kind of impressive, to be honest. Even if, you, even if you hitch up this way and head up the hill, every depot points in towards this. Wow. Everything's trailing point all the way. That's really kind of impressive, actually. It's impressive that I let it go that long without being useful. Uh, well, I don't know. It's, you know, I'm, I'm amazed at, at the fact that this guy is going to make me fight it. He's going to make me spend money to get rid of him. Now, technically, I guess I'll have it made up in a year, because it's going to be less than a million dollars, that's for sure. Let's just throw a depot down and say goodbye to the Mikado. Bye, buddy. You hear that? That's his last. That's his last goodbye. All right, everything else here is making money. What else? What else is on the chopping block now? These guys are doing all right. These guys are doing really good. Um, bus services don't care. You should probably be replaced with a truck. I'll be honest. You should probably be replaced with a truck. Um, Because this is not the this is not the volume of cargo that should be transported by train, and that's something I that's something I'm now understanding. You know, get uh, get trucks running first, and then get trains running. Because in this game, from the beginning, you have the option to do trucks, and trains are very very expensive and always will be. Yeah, you've never even made enough. You never come close. I do want to keep you around though, so I think you're going to live a little bit longer because you're a lucky son of a gun. And uh, hopefully that will grow a little bit. Okay. You're losing 4 mil. Great. I got rid of our long distance tram service. There's another long distance tram service I have out there. Where is it? I, I want to know if it's making money or not. It is! That's actually pretty impressive. So long distance trams are a way to go. Um, I might look into that for other things. How fast can our fastest trams go? That might be that might be a question to have for the future. Oh shucks! Some of these should not be. Uh, some of these should not be woods. They should be goods. Uh, you're 69. You should be goods. Should you not? Oh, you guys, I have you open. 
bring us over here. Now this is this is supposed to be goods into town. Why are you carrying wood? Um, and then the goods are sort of slowly moseying on their own. That's not that's not what I want. Um, all right, one, two, three, four. Get five, six. Okay. Can I change the? Can I only change them in a depot? Yep. Okay. Close all these. Uh, there's no hotkey to do that, I guess. Get rid of these. Alright, well, this whole this whole thing's gonna go to a depot. Whoops, I hit sell. Okay, not what I meant to do. I guess we're gonna just buy new ones. Probably the dumbest thing I've done this far. There goes another million. But they're selling. So that's something. They're doing goods now and they're line 69. So now hopefully this system will sort of kickstart back into profit land. You're making a little bit of money. You teeter on the edge a lot. Uh, and the, the big boys, they teeter a lot. And that's not great, but... This guy is old as hell. Alright, check this line. Okay, and it zooms out to show me the whole line. Oh, this is this side of that. Yeah, this should probably be improved as well. Either that, or I shouldn't be doing both sawmills, and I should just be transporting the goods via truck from there and turn this thing into a long highway. Because that, that I could probably get away with. I pull all the turns out of this. You know, that may be something to do once I'm making money, but I don't think I'm going to make money for a long while now. I don't know why I can't get rid of that, but I... You know, it doesn't connect to anything. It's the main connection, main connection that doesn't connect to anything. Yeah, this probably needs an upgrade. Uh, this, this road needs some editing, because it's really wonky right now. And these two truck services right... Oh, we made money. These two truck services right here are doing terrible things. Let's check on our other thing. The thing that we cut down earlier. How is, how is that doing? It's probably losing about half as much. So that's a good thing. There you are. Get any goods on you? Four. Well, that's not good. Could definitely be better than four goods. I was correct, though. It is losing about half as much. Are they all getting dropped off to the... No, they're not getting dropped off to anything. So, presumably, the output of everything around here dropped precipitously when that happened. Because where else would the goods be going at that point? Yeah, 298, we're down 100. Okay, so having these these piggyback leapfrog routes doesn't work. Got it. Although maybe we could try adding them incrementally next time and just see how things worked out. This was a big venture and I wasn't sure if it was going to pay off and it didn't. Damn, we were we were gaining, we were gaining uh, gaining steam on the amount of money we were losing too. Right. Line 77 is in the picture. Line 12 is in the picture. I don't really like the idea of getting rid of uh, stuff around here. Was any of this freight service profitable, anyways? Because I don't think it was. Again, the volume isn't there. It isn't there. So. I don't know. I may have to just start shutting down. Again, I just need to survive. Uh, let's see. At this rate, if we lose 10 million a year, we have 12 years to survive. Um, if I do lots of cuts and stuff, if I get us profitable again, frankly, if we get to the point where it may be a little bit dangerous, and I know property maintenance is a thing in this game, but it's fairly insignificant compared to your rest, the rest of your expenses. 
Ooh. Um. Uh, if I get to the, you know, property maintenance is, it's it's a million and a half bucks a year. That that can be, you know, remedied with any number of our smaller lines, uh, even just a handful of truck lines. So my point is, something I can do is theoretically shut down everything, you know, just pull everything out of service that isn't making money and just start putting things back in when we're making money. You know, I think I'll do that if we fall, if we manage to fall under the hundred million mark, uh, then I will work on that. I probably sh shut down some of the bigger things uh, and, you know, theoretically replace line 77 with metro liners. That could do the trick. Are these guys just losing money the whole time? They should have zero now. Um, is that their balance? No, that's per year. No, it is their balance. But does that does that get refreshed at any point? That's my question. Because if we were if we had a negative balance on something and then it started to make a profit, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I understand. I don't think I'm understanding how this is working. It's probably a rolling average or something. But again, I don't know. Obviously, these guys are not making money and haven't made money in a long time. I bet you it's just this. It's it's the combination of these things, which makes sense. I think we should take whichever one has the least passengers and sell it. They have a six-minute thing, and you're waiting for somebody. You have the least passengers. You're getting sold. Or at least you're getting sent to depot. Well, okay, you're going that way now. You're going to disrupt everything. Yeah, we've got three trains on that. Maybe it'll do better. And anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this conrailing episode of uh, Train Fever. Almost, guys. Almost. We're going to do the impossible. We're going to actually make money. These guys are not picking up anything, are they? They really aren't. Waiting for full load is a thing, but... No, no goods come down here. Alright, this freight system's going away. As my la last act, I take the great experiment, deem it the, the next great mistake, and shut down freight service on this line from now until further notice. Goodbye, AEM 7s. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next week. Train Man out.